coming down the stretch. Ain't a whole lot of talking left to do. The last couple of weeks is going to decide who's the rookie of the year. I think we can narrow it down to two guys, Trey Young and Luka Doncic. Which one takes the top spot this week? Tune in and find out on this week's top five rookies. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, yeah, it's almost over. The season is almost over. Um, we're going to get right into the top five rookies as we do every week. We're going to recap last week's top five. Uh, let's see. Last week we had number five was Alonzo Trier. Number four was DeAndre Ayton. Number three was Colin Sexton. Number two was Trey Young, and number one was Luka Doncic. So let's get right into it and see who takes the top spot this week. Coming in at number five, we have Kevin Knox. What? Gotham Zone. Checks in at number five with 14 points a game, three rebounds, one assist, shot 50% from the floor, 67 from three, and 67 from the line. Um, Knox has had a kind of up and down year. Um, his play kind of goes as a shooting goal, so um, it was a good shooting week for him. Hopefully, he can get more consistent um, next season, uh, but he does take the fifth spot this week. Coming in at number four, we have Marvin Bagley. He averaged 17 points, six rebounds, and one assist for the week. Uh, shot 59% from the floor, only 20% from three. He usually doesn't take a lot of threes, so... Um, not really surprising that he shoots a low percentage because he's not a good three-point shooter. Um, he did shoot 85% from the free throw line. Uh, Bagley's finishing the season pretty strong. Um, another solid week for him, and he takes the number four spot. Coming in at number three, we have Luka Doncic. Really? Uh, Luka had a kind of a down week. Uh, average 18 points, nine rebounds, eight assists, which on the surface looks good. Only shot 37% from the floor, a putrid 13% from three, <laughs> and 25% from the free throw line. So Luca had probably his worst shooting week of the season, um, and he comes in at number three. Number two this week, we have Colin Sexton, uh, another guy making a big push at the end of the year. Um, looking forward to um, let's see what he does in the sophomore season. But um, Colin Sexton this week averaged 26 points, three rebounds, and three assists. Shot 54% from the floor, 50 from the uh, three-point line, and 88 from the free throw line. Um, Colin Sexton, he's been pretty good all year long. Um, he's had some really big weeks. He's had some bad weeks, um, as most rookies do. Um, but I think um, he has a bright future in Cleveland um, as their starting point guard. Uh, he reminds me a lot of Lou Williams. Bruh. Um, so we'll see how he, like I say, he translates in the sophomore season, um, what he adds to his game, how he comes back. Um, but he does take the number two spot, which means there can only be one. Coming in at number one, we have Trey Young. For the week, Trey Young averaged 23 points, four rebounds, and six assists, shot 57% from the floor, 44 from three, 75% from the line, which is a little bit down for Young. Um, he usually shoots um, in the high 80s from the free throw line, but all in all, a really good week for Trey Young. Um, he's um, finishing the season strong. He's been consistent um, all year long between him, Aiton, and Luka have been the most consistent rookies all year. Um, they, obviously, they've had bad weeks as well, but those three have stood out um, way above the other um, rookies this year. So I expect those three to finish one, two, three in the rookie voting, but that's a long way away. That's going to do it for the top five. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.